the kind of ephemeral quality of it is really intriguing, the fact that it is temporary, and it's something that as a community, you join together for this singular vision to tell a story that only happens temporarily. It only happens for that moment. Hi, I'm Sarah Figaton, and I am the upper school acting teacher and theater director. So teaching actually kind of found me and randomly a professional contact of mine sent me a message saying that there was an opening at Milken for an acting teacher and director. And um, I came here and immediately kind of felt that this was a really special place. So theater is such a special space, a spe special creative space. It's kind of, for me, a mixture of creativity and community. And um, I think creative empowerment is definitely something that's really important to me and kind of a legacy that I've tried to leave here. It's one experience to be, you know, an actor in a show and have your family come and see you in a production and say, hey, great job, and, you know, kind of leave it on the stage. And it's another thing to be a, a participant in the creation of the work. So I definitely am really encouraging of students to kind of find their creative voices in terms of getting involved in writing, um, just learning about other aspects of theater, um, theatrical design, or producing, or just helping be part of the collaborative process. So one of the classes that I teach at the school is called Advanced Theater Projects, and it's a really cool opportunity for students to basically find creative projects that are suited to their own particular skill sets and talents, and it's looked like a lot of things. Basically, anybody can benefit from getting involved in theater and in the performing arts. When we're little kids, all of us have that kind of natural sense of play, and then along the way, we lose it or we're kind of shamed for it. And it's so important to keep that side of us vital. For me, theater is about, as I've said, it's about a creative community. It's about getting more in touch with humanity and making yourself kind of a more honest, sensitive, connected person. I think also it's an opportunity to have conversations kind of about really important things that happen in the world through the framework of storytelling. And then there's the logistical things of like being good at, you know, public speaking and confidence and all of that. Yeah, it's, theater's a really special place. So after 18 months, 19 months of separation, it's good to be back on stage doing Romeo and Juliet together. Obviously, there's been some changes that we've had to make kind of to meet the moment. We're performing outdoors for the first time, and that's been actually really exciting, challenging, but fun to um, kind of do a, a play in the park under the stars. Also, we've had to make some accommodations just in terms of like, it's a show where there's a lot of conversation about touch and kissing, and. We can't do that in this COVID moment, but I'm a big believer that sometimes those limitations create really cool artistic opportunities. So I think we've found solutions that are actually really beautiful and maybe more impactful than what would have been if we just did what was on the page. You definitely have like the script and you have the infrastructure that's there on the page, but, but it is the work of the actor to be a creator, the kind of creative vessel to turn these characters into real human beings. Also, I like to encourage our students to get involved in other ways. So um, small examples for this year, um, Ari Hoffman designed the poster for our show and um, James Greer, courageously, I needed a pre-show speech and gave him a couple talking points. And then this is for Romeo and Juliet. And he asked if he could do it in meter, he, if he could write a, a, it in sonnet style in uh, iambic pentameter and came back with this amazing speech that he now delivers at the beginning of our show. So there's lots of ways that actors become creators. I definitely, over the years, I mean, I've taught thousands of students at this point and um, there have been so many memorable moments seeing a student go from feeling afraid and stuck and um, you know at this time in their lives it's uh it can be really scary and very vulnerable to put yourself out there especially in front of your peers and those moments where they suddenly kind of take that risk and then feel the reward from that feel that it's okay to be funny and goofy or to be vulnerable 
is um, always so special. Something that's just coming to mind though, I think some of my favorite stories are about the students who had absolutely no intention to ever get involved in theater. In this production, I have a student, Bex, who was just hanging around with some of the other actors who were auditioning. And she was kind of coming in and out of the dorm, like, who are you? Why are you here? You should be in the show. And I could tell she was like, mm, maybe, I don't know. And went home and asked her mom and um, got the okay. And just to see her up on stage right now, like living her best life, playing with swords and, walking on in these fabulous costumes. And it's just, that that's always the best for me. Yeah, those kind of unexpected kids who get bit by the bug. <laughs>